Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for a new episode of KOS. Today I will show you how to uh, display uh, some words on the terminal. Uh, maybe you want to display information during the, the launch, don't know. Um, in the last episode we, uh, we saw that script, so I uh, write, wrote it again. So uh, first I activate the first stage. I wait one second, then I activate the second stage to release the clamp, and uh, then I went and I'll wait until vertical speed is negative, and the shoot are uh, released. Okay, uh, so this is uh, my program. Now uh, imagine I want to uh, print to display on the terminal all this information. Uh, the first thing you can do is clear the uh, the screen here. For that, you have a simple command, simple keyword, clear screen. Okay, All right, the uh, screen is cleared. I will add it here at the beginning of, uh, of my uh, script. Okay, clear screen. Now, uh, once the first stage is activated, I want to print. Uh, ignition. Oh, no, you can print uh, whatever you know. Uh, I want to print the word ignition. To, to print a word, uh, I have to use uh, this character and I write ignition. Okay, I, I don't have the name, <laughs> sorry, of uh, this character. Uh, so well, you, you, you write it and this means you want to print this word. Ignition. You you can make the word or the sentence as long as you wish. It doesn't matter. Um, that means that KOS will print the word on the terminal. Um, in this case, KOS writes exactly what uh, uh, writes e e uh, it writes exactly what you have written here. That means KOS will respect the uppercase and the lowercase. Uh, okay, uh, then the clamps are released, so print uh, clamps release, not better uh, lift off. Okay, and uh, then uh, here stage uh, up I print shoot uh, deployed. Okay, so let's save that script. Okay. Save the change. Now I can run the script. Run test. Oh, as you can see, there is an error. Uh, it is important when you uh, program a code to learn how to uh, understand those uh, errors, and the description is here to uh, to help you. Um, in this way, you have the error line fift uh, fifteen column zero and uh, the message is unexpected token uh, EOF found expected EOI okay uh, stage and print uh, shoot deployed okay this is the line where the, there is an error and the error is that KOS uh, expected an EOI and of instruction and uh, it didn't find uh, it didn't find it Okay, so it is just here. I have forgotten to write the period character. Uh, it's a very, very, very common mistake um, with KOS. So <laughs> uh, when you see it uh, expected E or I, that means you, you have forgotten somewhere um, uh, the, 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 the period. Okay, I can save it again. Then I use the help arrow of my keyboard, run tests, let's go, mission, okay, so you see the, um, the screen has been cleared, then ignition is printed, and then lift off. Now we are waiting uh, until the vertical speed is uh, less than zero, it's negative, and then well, so stage and shoot deployed and the program ended. Okay, that's exactly what uh, we wanted.
Right, uh, maybe you can do something a little better. Let's try. Better how? Why? Well, uh, one thing is I can add some uh, empty lines here. You can put a print with uh, the space uh, here, the, the, the space character, and uh, it will print a space character on a new line and um, nothing else. I, uh, so I have selected uh, all of this and Control C to copy the text. Control V to paste to paste it. Okay, so what happened here? Okay, run test. Mission. You see, there is an empty line here. This is the print. Okay, yeah. uh, back again on the launchpad. Um, imagine you want to display the countdown. Three, two, one, zero. Uh, obviously, three, two, one are seconds. Okay, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Okay, for this, just need to uh, print three, wait one second, then print two, wait one second, print one, oh. wait one second. Uh, the screen is cleared, then I print three, three seconds until the launch, wait one, print two, wait one second, print one, and maybe here I won't wait one second. I want, uh, for the last second, uh, I want the booster to be uh, ignited, okay? Then I wait one second, and with the zero, print zero here, uh, print zero and lift off. Okay, uh, let's see how it worked. How it works. Uh, run tests. Let's go. Three, two, mission, zero and lift off. Great. All right. Uh, imagine now you want to uh, display the countdown here on the top right corner of the terminal. So you want to write three, two, one on here. Um, remember that uh, that terminal has 50 columns and 25 rows. The columns are numbered from zero to 49. So the last column is the number 49. Uh, the lines are numbered from zero to 24. Okay, so uh, the last uh, row is 24. If I want a position of a character uh, in the middle of my terminal, I don't know, I have to uh, first say the number of the column and then the number of the line. Okay, uh, it's like coordinates. Uh, so first the columns and then the row. So if I want to, uh, to print here the number three, on the last column and the first row, I have to uh, say that I want to print three at the coordinates 49, zero, because the last column is uh, numbered 49 and the first row is numbered zero. And uh, I can do this again for the number two, last column and the row after. So row one and 49, two and then zero at 49 three so let's see it, if it works uh, if it works so run tests let's go three two one and zero here we go I can abort uh, the program pressing Control C on my keyboard. The program is aborted. That means that even when uh, the vertical speed uh, will uh, be negative, the program is ended. So uh, the last stage won't be activated automatically. I can do it pressing the press bar. 
the space bar. Okay, back again for a new test. For this test, I will write 49.0 for all the numbers of the countdown. Okay, 49.0, 49.0, 49.0. I think you should be able to imagine what uh, what will happen here so I save that and I run tests 3 2 1 0 okay so the uh, 3 has been uh, substituted by 2 and then 1 and then 0 because I wrote the exact same coordinates Okay, last test. Uh, I have changed my scripts and uh, I let you uh, find what the script uh, is going to do. Okay, you can pause the video, save. So, did you find? Run test. Let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. At the end of this uh, video, you can now clear the screen, you can print, print uh, every word you want, and uh, you can print it in uh, whatever uh, positions, uh, positions on the terminal you want. You just have to let go your imagination and uh, run your script. Okay, thank you for watching and see you on another tutorial of KOS. Bye bye.